like a lot of the, a lot of the, the, the hand in the house or the, like in the Dachis, they have shorter handles. Or generally they have shorter handles, they don't have these Herkin ones. So, you're a little bit different, you're more like a, like a regular broadsword in how you're flick, you know, flicking it around. You're still going to be doing most of the same maneuvers, but you don't have that same advantage, you know, uh, of being able to slide out yeah. to do the flips and stuff. But then again, you're not attacking with the other end. Or like try to keep the attack with the hitch ball down to a minimum. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's yeah. not fair. Cool. Exactly. <laughs> attacks with the hitch ball. Yeah, that's right. But I remember talking to somebody about that. I was like, oh yeah, you get over the top of them, and the difference between S E and E M P is the hitch ball. You get it, just hit him with the hitch ball. He's like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. No. Um. But yeah, you can still still do a lot of that where where this hand is pretty silent. And then the other side is rolling. You're still doing those rolling moves. You're still doing the rolls over the top. Still doing a lot of the, the, the strikes where you're taking it and you're rolling across. But but since you have your hands closer together, it certainly doesn't have the advantages of a pole. I mean, that fact that you can slide your hands apart, so slide them together to do spins, you're going to be way faster. Um, there is a little bit of advantage. I, I You know, I'd have to say between... Um, Western ones where they've got the keons and then they've got a hitch ball where that's helping in the balance of it. I really like a sword that's weighted forward where all the weight's kind of up in the blade and that's where uh, like a Nadachi or a lot of the bastard swords don't have those on there either um, or katana. They have more of the weight going forward. I, I like that setup because it's easier to feel the flip of the weapon in your hand as you roll it over. A lot of people like this because you have a little more tip control, so you can just kind of, you can just flick it a little more. Um, but the problem is with that style is, you know, it's, it's sometimes it's easy to just kind of stand and just get a kill like that. But I think that's a very limiting style. I mean, if that's your only trick is to go flick and then pop, um, as soon as somebody closes on you, you're going to just die like a pig. So then you're definitely going to be in that... SCA back pedaling, circling, getting flubbed in the corner kind of thing. Um, I, uh, but I mean, for the most part, I mean, you can do a lot of those things. It's just when it comes to the slide, you're obviously not going to have the mechanics. So, I mean, I like fighting with it uh, with a with a, with a uh, sword that's weighted like uh, the uh, the Asian style ones. But you know, of course, what's a Viking doing with a Nodachi? Right? But hey. <laughs> that's all like right. It. That's all right. But I killed. I killed them, and I took it. He that, got that from right. his Egyptian trainer. That's right. <laughs> Egyptian trainer gave it to me. Yeah, um, okay. So let's. Uh, so if you're gonna do, I'm trying to think the best thing to actually go at. Do you wanna? Do you wanna just pair up and try some of the stuff that we've already been kind of talking about, and then kind of pick it apart, or do you wanna? Uh, want to just go over let's go over some of those moves maybe uh you know doing doing a doing a, a mullet a um you can still do with the with the great swords but um i i usually like to do like uh mullet a uh, will step with the with the uh the right leg the right leg forward standing like this in my ready position and then I usually do a mullet A on a retreat. I mean, you can do it from just standing here. In fact, we'll just try it from here. You, you pick, pick the, the backhand up and roll the blade down. Then you rotate your, your body. And you, you lift this hand up over your head. And then bring it across the top. And so you're going to dip it down. to be one smooth motion like that. How far my hands are apart from each other. It's not much different than where it is on the two-handed sword. It's a little bit different. It's like I'm starting out so wide to begin with, but if this was two-handed sword, I mean I'm still, I'm actually just doing a straight down roll. I have to lift this arm a little bit instead of keeping it stationary. So you're saying you do that on the defensive arm? Well, I'm saying the difference between a pole arm, a pole arm where you can slide, I want to keep it up like this. And I want to just keep this pretty stationary and roll. But if you're on a two-handed sword, you know, you're going to be down.
down like that, right? So there it's going to be rolling and then flipping. And you're not really moving your hands from that grip position, but it's but it is like they're it's, they're striking and you're pushing the point down and then you're flipping it across like that. Now now we're just doing it just like that, pretty stationary. But if you want to add to it, take this leg, roll down. Right about here, you start this, just move this hip back, move this foot back, you can strike. Let's do that a couple of times, like that. Now that's very two-handed, 